Easy does it, here we go. Easy does it, time to start the show. It's like we've never been here before. Like you've never done it before. I'm a virgin, like a virgin. Trying it out for the first time. Want to get it right, make it all right. Use up the propane before it's time. Better turn it down. I'm ready, ready to go. Gonna try it, get into the flow. Like it was the first time You know I'm not ready on time Late but not too late Though we try I do not debate Ready or not, here I come. Gonna get this on the grill, get it done. We're wrapping up, we're ready to go. Gonna start the show. Ladies. And gentlemen, welcome to the Just Add Heather Show. <clears throat> and since we're here, back in the backyard again, I'm so happy to tell you what the recipe is tonight. Now, I thought, fellas, about it long and hard. Was it longer or harder? It was long and hard, actually. Speaking of, perhaps I should introduce the band. Joining us here tonight on piano and accordion and percussion, the one-man band, Mr. Blue Eyes himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Rob Reich. Woo. Uh, some kind of fruit just fell on me. Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> really From the sky. Oh, fruit. He's Johnny Appleseed, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ready to plant his seed across this country. <laughs> and... You never know what's going to happen here on the Just Add Heather show. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us here tonight again. You know you miss him and love him well. On the bass and guitar, Mr. Yair Evnen. Yes, when they got it good, they don't have to show off too hard, you know. For tonight's special episode, ladies and gentlemen, we have a performer on the show, a member of our family here at Job, just so you know. She's got a lot of tricks up her sleeve, and hang out with us and you'll see a little bit of flight and fire tonight. That's Mega. The show is Mega. But you wonder what the dessert is, is that right? Are we making a dessert? Of course, tonight. Well, I had to think of something that I've never made before. And there's not many things I've ever done before. And I found one thing. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate go together like gin and tonic, peanut butter and chocolate. They go together like gin and tonic. 
gonna mix it all up Put it in a pan, that's what's up A little chocolate and peanut butter brownies on the Barbie That's right, inspired by a blonde goddess that I was with on the street last night when I said, what dessert have you got in mind? And she said something with peanut butter. So here we are, Shayna, making something with peanut butter just for you. Yes. Now, I want to put together all of these ingredients before I welcome out our fantastic guest tonight. So let me just weigh out the chocolate and get it melting. How about that, fellas? What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. I cool. like a, I like weighing things out. You it's like weighing, weighing things out? Weigh, weighing them out, yeah. Have you been weighing, weighing things out recently? Oh, yeah. Weighing the good, the bad, the here, the there, the now, the later? Totally. All righty. Well, this recipe, ladies and gentlemen, is a simple and easy brownie recipe, but we're going to bake it on the barbecue. And first, we need six ounces of dark chocolate. We're using Valrona tonight. And let's just weigh it out. I suppose I should turn it on. Tear. And now you should know that has to be exactly six, so let's see. We have to put it. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to put it in my double broiler. Double broiler, that is, if you don't mind following me over this way. I mean, is the camera following me over this way? And we're gonna heat it up in what is called a double broiler, ladies and gentlemen, which is actually a bowl on top of a pot of boiling water. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter to that because we're doing a dairy full recipe tonight because I'm in a pinch. And while it's heating up and melting down, we're gonna melt you down with a little flight. Let's see, how much butter do we have in this recipe, Mr. Evanen? We're doubling the recipe, so what's one half plus one half? One whole. Oh, that's right. You're smart. <laughs> now, you know, usually I do a gluten-free, dairy-free recipe, but tonight we were just in a hurry with so many things going on. I just decided, let's just go full-on traditional. Why not? Let's just do a trad brownie. A lot of butter. I'm sure, it's going to be a very good. Now, if you're trying to do a dairy free recipe, please do and add one cup of coconut oil or one cup of vegan butter. And while that melts down, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring you something to melt you down. And I have the wonderful pleasure of introducing one of my friends here in this fabulous location of our backyard. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the first time ever, welcome to the stage. I said that twice, let's see. Welcome to the stage for the very first time ever here on the Jaw Show, the one and only Mega!
Ah, as the light shines on this diamond, shining bright like a diamond. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Mega. Oh, as the stars are our witness here tonight and that little bit of pink sky in the background. This is our first time here on the Just Add Heather show that we've had an aerialist and we've been talking about it for so long. So I just think that my smile is just getting so big here that my face hurts. And I will be doing the comments tonight and it looks like uh, Mega Borhen, Borhen gives you a round of applause, round of applause, looking beautiful, sparkling. Thank you, Big Daddy. And it's nice to know that you're watching our humble little program here in the backyard. I'd like to say that we have a lot of people in the audience tonight. Can you hear them clapping? That was the crickets. It's just a peaceful zen night here. We should have that machine, you know, where you press the button and it, and it makes a big round of applause like there's 100 people. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. We'll put that in the budget. And let's see who else is on. Oh, another amazing producer of live streams during the pandemic. Peter Barron, very cool. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. So appreciate you putting out live improv entertainment. As we have no idea what we're gonna do here on this adventure, we just hope I don't burn it, which sometimes I do. Get a little burnt, baby. I'm gonna check on my melting chocolate and butter while we're doing a outfit change and just see what's happening. Sorry for the knife. I'm a lover, not a fighter. And somehow butter has never taken so long to melt. Maybe we should just put it on Mega's abs and that would work. What do you think, fellas? <laughs> yeah. Also, what would be cool is if somehow I could jump up on this cube. A couple more shots and I might feel inspired to do it. I get a little crazy halfway through the show, you know. And while this is melting and taking so long, so long, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead with the rest of the recipe and just see what else is in the mix. If you have any interesting ideas of songs that you might want to hear, please drop them in the comments, as Kerbal is currently busy and cannot read the comments, so it's going to be me tonight. And it looks like Rick, Ricky baby, says yay. Wish you were here, buddy. Can you come down later? We need your help breaking down later. Yes, Mr. Rob Reich, I do agree. Why don't we get the peanut butter mixture going? I think that's a fantastic idea. I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> he's sending me subliminal messages. Maybe he meant to say something else. <laughs> so for this peanut butter mixture that we're going to swirl into the batter, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a double recipe because I feel like just doubling up on everything since we're getting close to the absolute end of this fantastical live stream time. The first part is that we need three quarters cup of smooth peanut butter times two. So that requires a little math, fellas. Um, I did the last one. <laughs> What's the question? Three quarter cup times two. Ooh, one half. That's a little harder than that last one. That's one half. Mm, that is, no, no, that is not one half. And in fact, I don't have anything to stir it with. So that's going to be... That's half an No, half. sorry, not one half, but one and a half. One that's one and, and a, half. a half cup. One half. Ooh, gosh, I would need a liquid measurer for this, and I did not bring out a liquid measurer. And I just wonder if there's any possibility of some magical person somehow bringing me a liquid measuring cup. Because you know, Yair, the difference between a dry measure and a wet measure well, should we do a little science and explain? This is baking science, everyone who's watching. Hello, hamamis. 
So, when you use a dry cup, it's not the same as a wet cup. You might be off by just a tiny, tiny bit. This is your liquid measuring cup. And this is your dry measuring cup. Now that we've learned that, let's do a cup and a half of smooth peanut butter. that that's done. It's a sticky business, fella. It's a sticky game that we're in here. You know what I mean? Where we're trying to cross-pollinate things together. Is it, how do you stay not sticky when you're baking? Like, is it, you know, is there a technique for keeping your life clean? Hmm. Well, life has been messy. Things are messy. Like. And unkept. Like and, yeah, no, there's no secret except for maybe wet wipes? <laughs> Yeah. Two thirds cup sugar, ladies and gentlemen, to this mix. And it looks like I don't have any sugar here. And this is very odd. Could you get me some granulated sugar and confectioner sugar and powdered sugar and, and, and coconut sugar? Maybe our chocolate is getting hot. We've got to cool it. No, nothing ever really works out exactly the way that we want to. And that's life, fellas. You know, if we could play la that's life, I'd, I'd really be into that's life. Of course, we'd have to know what key I sing it in, and that would be a whole thing. And as these things come flying at me, that's sugar. And sugar. And sugar. And more sugar. <laughs> I guess you're sending me a message that I'm sweet, that I'm just a little bit high glycemic, not low, yeah, baby, <laughs> let's put it in the flow, yo, it's not good for you, but we do it anyway, it's true, get naughty tonight. We're going to make it all right. Two thirds of cooked with sugar. Double it up, and there you go. Just two thirds cup of sugar, baby. Double it up. Joyful kind of blues, as if there was something like that. Get back to the beginning where we started. Honey, I can get more of that. Oh. Doesn't get much better than this. Doesn't get much better than this. 
pantry, I look at this recipe and I think, what? And why in the world would you put eggs with your peanut butter? That doesn't make any sense at all. And my recipe doesn't make any sense at all. I don't make any sense at all. Oh, now does that say one half teaspoon salt or vanilla? I'm gonna go with vanilla. What do you think guys, salt or vanilla? Okay, because it's a mystery here, because it looks like chopped chocolate, butter, sugar, eggs, vanilla, salt. Okay, so it's butter. I mean, it's sugar. I mean, it's salt. Right. Half teaspoon. Right. Right. Half teaspoon. Thing. Half teaspoon. You know, you can, you can do the best you can, but if it doesn't have salt, yeah, it ain't good. And Cousin Jamie's joining us over here on The Just Dead. Heather, Cousin Jamie. Speaking of the angels in the world, we're just putting a little salt in our butter. Salt in the butter. Just a little trick. If you need to measure salt like this, put it in your palm and spoon it in. for an egg in the peanut butter, fellas. What do you think about that? It doesn't seem to make sense, but I wrote it down, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, did you hear that? That was a coyote. Cool. Cool! Is that a coyote eating something? It's so cool, they could come over here and eat our cat. Ah. Not cool. So just crack, crack, crack your little egg. Our chocolate is way done, guys. Way done. Yes. It's steaming hot, baby. <laughs> now the recipe says wait till it cools off. We don't have time for that business. So we're gonna switch it out. If you mind taking that pot off of the boiling water, and we'll just move that aside. We're gonna put this whole recipe together. Now, it's been about, let's say, 13 months of doing this a program where we put together a recipe and some live music and entertainment. It's story time. And it seems that as everybody's going out to venues now, that perhaps live streaming shows might not be a thing. <laughs> Well, whether people are watching now or later, I just want to say that <coughs> this shit lives in history, babes. Yeah. And we done did this thing, and we're looking forward to moving it to a live venue where people can experience the magic of watching a live recipe come in action to music while they ask for the songs they want to hear. And we're ready to be out there with the crowd. We're ready to be out there, out loud. But we had to get ready. We had to get it set up, ready to go. Hello, next level medicinals. You should be on the show. When you want to perfect your stuff, you gotta do it a whole lot <laughs> Till it's ready to go Just like the brownies in my bowl I wanted to show you just what I could do With what I have And you know what that's like, Mr. Evman You know <laughs> 
one man band. Anything done when you got this thing going on? I feel this music inside of me. It makes me feel free to be who I wanna be. Yeah. We don't know where we're going, but it's gonna be good. What's good? Another shot? Is alcohol good with math? I mean, is math good on, um, when you're when you're drinking? I have any thoughts? Oh my goodness! My brother is watching for the first time ever in history. He's never even seen me perform ever in the universe, Mr. Josh Jones. That's my brother. That's my brother. Yo, that's my brother. were growing up, let me just ask, you know, Rob, Yair, yep. um, did your parents think that you guys were weird? I uh, could answer that for Rob. Um, I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your parents think I'm weird? <laughs> did, did your friends and family think that maybe you were weird? I and love like Rob. Everyone loves Rob. It's so, true. Do you have any well, enemies, Rob? time for that no, okay, yeah sorry. no we're not we're not unpacking enemies but first yeah. of all we're not unpacking the haters tonight i got a long list of those but <laughs> we're just not going to unveil that until we have a couple more shots where's the bartender here and when does mega do fire oh when does mega do fire as soon as i put this on the grill good question good question i'm going to hand this to the bartender yes <laughs> Two-thirds cup flour times two equals two-thirds cup times two. <laughs> and and then it also adds for a one and a quarter cup sugar times two. One and a fourth cup of sugar times two, Mr. Rick Rodinger. What a name. <laughs> uh, you know the you know the Rickster. Rick. That's Rick Rodinger. I do as well, you know. You do? You know Rick? How do you know Rick? North Beach. Oh my god, you know Rick? Yeah, he's, he's probably. Beach, baby. First of all, he's hey, probably. North Beach, what's up? Okay, he's probably watching just because you're on the show tonight. Mega, can I house it for you sometime? Anytime. Really great. You have to take care of three dogs. That's why I asked him, but yeah. Okay. Two wiener dogs and a shitty. <laughs> and a shitty? <laughs> it's like we're all just hanging out here, guys, in my backyard. It's just a hang. It's just a hang. <laughs> that, I don't even know if I'm counting. So that was oh, two. Yeah, okay. True. Okay, Rick, are you counting? Because um, oh, yes, I think I did a cup. Okay, this is this is a cup. This is okay. We need two cups. Really, we just need two cups. Right, they're in the house. They're in the house. 
Now that we've got that sugar in the bowl, it's almost time to put this thing on the grill. We're never gonna get it cooked up, guys. than Nina and um, and though I should really think it make that my theme song and we've decided yeah that should be my theme song um, yay, yay. but I don't know all the words isn't that so silly I have flour I have sugar and it calls for two eggs and a oh my god we need to do more butter is this possible I already put Wow guys Wow guys no the butter's already in the chocolate the butter's in the chocolate. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Two teaspoons of vanilla. dry to the wet or the wet to the dry. It's such a mystery.
What is tempering? Tempering your eggs means slowly <coughs> adding the egg mixture into the warm mixture slowly so that it doesn't cook the egg, but yet mixes the egg into the mixture. And yes, it's warm. Yes, I think we're making closer, uh, we're, we're making progress here. Yes. And now we're going to add the dry to the wet. And it's a safe bet, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we mix it all together. Just like we've been doing. Well, I've got a seamless tricep and bicep here. I've been doing a lot of mixing up ingredients on the regular deer. Putting it together in the bowl. I just mix it up like you know. Gonna put it on the heat up and it's swirly stuff peanut butter and the chocolate together. See what you get. Ah! Oh, Vega's ready. Oh, okay, I gotta put this on the grill. Okay, I gotta put it on the grill. I got requests from Mr. Rick Braddock. This is my greased pan, and it is buttery tonight. But you should put parchment in here so that you can lift it out safely for cutting, ladies and gentlemen. And my parchment wasn't cut just right, just like we weren't on time tonight. But we're doing it just like we do it every time, live. So I'm going to pour it together, peanut butter and chocolate. Guys, do you have some Reese's music over here? in the middle. I don't think you're supposed to do this. I 
hope this thing rises. There's no baking soda or baking powder. It's true. Just an experiment. You never know, let's see. Put it on the barbecue, baby. Let's bake it up, get ready. is messy fellas you know I've made a big mess here tonight and I just looked this recipe up earlier and I just don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna put it on the barbecue and set this whole thing on fire Woo! ladies and gentlemen there's no leavening in this I don't know how the hell it's gonna write could take an hour to cook maybe an hour or two Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, as we bake this baby up, let's welcome back to the stage the one and only Mega.
Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our pyrotechnic part of this program. She's coming back to get a little bit bendy while we're baking up this brownie recipe. Because, why not? And can you hear them? Let's see what else we can do while we're baking on the barbecue, ladies and gentlemen, Mega Gallagher.
ladies and gentlemen, for whoever is out there, that was Mega Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And with all of that extra energy spent, she's waiting for her protein and rich brownies. And it looks like Viva La Glam is joining us over here. We're missing you here tonight. You better be having a good time. And do you think it's time for the brownies? Let's check on these bad boys. Absolutely. Oh, God, they're rising fast. You know, I had to turn up the heat while Mega was on the cube just to see if I could get these things happening quick because, you know, baking on the barbecue is difficult. And there are a lot of challenges involved, that being our bottoms getting hot. And so I know that you know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you would like to have some brownies done tonight. It's just about time, you see. I had hoped that perhaps they'd come out just perfectly. But as you know, in life as things go, sometimes they take a little longer, so. Looks like we have about a mm, couple few more minutes while they're toasting up. And I'm thinking that maybe it's time for us to do a little song or a song. What do you think, Mr. Rob Reich? A song or a song? Yeah, those are tough choices. Or a beverage. Hmm. Both. Mega says beverage, and we'll, we'll just do beverage while we wait for Yair, who, who's taking a momentary break, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to go ahead and mention that this house that has housed this incredible project during the quarantine times as we stumbled on ways to creatively express ourselves and find new ways, we found an incredible opportunity here at this location. with these little jewels on. Do they look cute? Should I take them off? Yeah, they look good. Now, one thing I should mention is that this may be one of our last programs at this location. It's true that things are always changing and we hope for the best. Wow. Wow. Someone's getting in on the act. Thank you for singing a lot. Coyote likes this song. <laughs> Only here on the Jaw Show. Yeah, it's across the street. Boop, boop. And we're out here in nature, in Moraga, with the elements. And as we have put this show together over this time, we're going to continue on keeping this spirit alive. We might take it to a place where you can see it indoors. But I like the added elements of the unknown as we have shown it's true. You never know if the birds or the guys in the sky that are flying through are gonna make an impact on our show and exactly what we do. So as we think about what we've done over these 13 months, Perhaps we should have a cheers for what comes next into this next chapter. I've always wanted to have an, a bartender just like this. And this is what it takes, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of episodes, perhaps 59 episodes, to be able to have a bartender like this. And it looks like we are moments away from Mr. Yair Evnand. Oh, he's back, he's back, how about that? Howdy. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. He's a bad guy. Cheers. Cheers. Wait a second. We have we have one more magical assistant here. Is anyone else looking for a shot? Um, well, you know, this is a drinking program. Where we celebrate and become a little bit 
Unscripted. Cheers to unscripted, guys. Too much perfection in the world. Could be water. Or not. And as it heats up. Oh, you know, Yair likes crispy bottoms. And he likes things really burnty on there. He might like this tonight. But it's got a little bit more time until it's done. Well, I gotta think about what we have in, in our repertoire of songs for you all. And it looks like the only requests that have been given to us tonight, because we don't have Kerbal here, is from Mr. Rick Rodinger, who seems to be questing, requesting a lot of Sinatra. What did he say? No. Uh, he said, how, out, oh, uh, out my man or at last? Hmm, I don't know, at last is a wedding song, Mr. Rodinger. Uh, we could, you know, we could do That's Life, if anybody knows that one. <laughs> That's life. He says, I don't know that one. That's what all the people say. It's just kind of like, you know, the mantra of these days. As we navigate through these waterways, and I don't think we have our Kippy Marks, our Servi Anderson, our Scott Anderson, our general buddies on board. But that's okay. We'll make it up as we go along. Just like we do here on this job program. Finding the goodness and sweetness in the toughest of times. We find a way to make it out on time. That's life. You want to play That's Life? Okay, but I actually am ready for this. Feels like he's ready for me to do it. All right, let's go for it. I'll go right to the good part, okay? That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. I know if there's nothing shaking come this here July. I'm gonna roll up a big doobie and get high. I've been a puppet, a popper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. Been up and down and over and out. But I know one thing, each time I find myself flat on my face, I pick Show. 
Oh, well, that was a rework of That's Life if I ever heard one. Good golly, that was cute as heck. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Reich on the drums tonight. Yeah. Woo! Okay, he's keeping the beat. And you know, girls, he's got rhythm. He's got rhythm. And also Mr. Rob Reich. Wait, I already said Rob Reich. And also Mr. Rob Reich. Wait a second. And also Mr. Rob Reich. And then Mr. Yair Evnen. It's burnt on the bottom just like he likes And then we'll cut it up and have a glass of milk Chop it up, talk about it, everything else Everybody's on board, and that's what's up. And I gotta burn a little bottom on the bottom on the bottom on the bottom on the top, 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 top. Just get me started, and I don't know where to stop. I can't get enough. Oh, this girl, she keeps on talking, that's what they say. Is she ever gonna get it done today? Just wait and see, cause this is an improv show and it is reality. Ooh, I was waiting for that final beat just so I could give a little vogue. Ugh, that's so good. Things smell kind of burny on the barbecue, a little toasty, guys. Do you smell that smell? That's weird. It smelled a little bit more <gasps> Elizabeth Warren to me, but. It smelled a little bit more Bernie. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Yair has something political to say. Just bust it out, babe. You know, this is a real show where we talk about things we can't really say. So, what'd you say about Elizabeth Warren? You said it smelled Bernie, and I said it smelled a little bit more Elizabeth Warren. Oh, Bernie. Oh, okay. I thought you Bernie Sanders. I thought you meant like burnt. God, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. I think it's time to check our little brownies on the Barbie. Brownies on the Barbie. Let's check it out. Fire. I don't know what is. Do you guys smell that burnt bottom Reese's piece up right here? We have a surprise. We have a surprise besides this. You see, uh, there is a person here who's had a birthday this week. And you know how I love birthdays, fellas. And um, on this particular birthday, PG&E decided to work on the power lines. Thank you, PG&E. And they gave us no power for the birthday, so we didn't have a cake. And tonight, we're gonna do it. How old are you? Are you 22 or 42? Are you 
24 or 42? Because I really can't tell. I bought these candles for this week on Wednesday. Of course, we had no power to bake a cake. So let's go ahead and say to the producer of the Just Ed Heather Show, who's produced almost 60 episodes, happy birthday. later we're thinking about you baby it looks like 420 but it's actually 42 in a star now we're gonna chop these babies up and eat them that's right but before we go out let's do an outro tonight it looks like we got Servi Anderson on board Michael Jackson. Thank you, Yair. Wait, Natalie Ray is with us. Natalie Ray is watching. Natalie Ray! You're a badass. So great to meet you. Is this Billy Jean? Is this Why do I get a soundtrack like this as an outro without knowing the words? Let's make it our own, okay? This is the Just Ed Heather show, guys, and this is how we go. I tried my best to get on time. I tried my best just to do it right. It's a little undone and chocolatey tonight. But I got a queen to make it all right. Hey, baby. There's that special kind of voice that you like. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give up on the show. That bad and good, that's what we do with hot and good, that's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here tonight on the Just Add Heather Show. Mr. Rob Reich on percussion, killing it! You be careful, I'll be ready to go into that song. And there he is keeping it on and on and on and on. I like it when you take control. I like it when you tell me where to go. I like it when you take control of the flow. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. get out of the frame. He's a 
such a tease Bring me to my knees Make me say more please More please More gentlemen, I want to thank Mega Gallagher for performing on the show tonight. She sparks sparkly, sparkly human slash penguin. And here she comes for an encore. Okay, this is the exciting part where you really wish you could see what the heck's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mega Gallagher! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to more action here on the Just Add Heather show. Our last performance at this location will be June 20th. So please tune in for the 60th episode, June 20th. And I want to say all my love and all of my kisses to you two. Rob Reich and Yair Evnen for being here. To the next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting the sign. Dun 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 dun. Can I get some James Bond music? Let me get a little 007 here, just a little bit, just for a minute. Until the next time we make some magic and some kind of brownies on the barbecue, we'll be back. Kerbal. <laughs> <laughs>